guys, welcome back. It's another little hotel review on the channel. We're at the GF Victoria today, which is just down the road from the GF Costa Decky Gran that we did on the channel a couple of weeks ago. I will leave the link in the description for that if you want to go and check that one out. Both five-star hotels, both part of the GF group, but this one, much different style, a lot more modern. It's going to be a little bit more interesting, uh, especially with that rooftop pool. But it'd be nice to compare the two. Very different styles. We'll see what the rooms are like here compared to the other. The pool areas, we're hopefully going to take a little dip in the pool as well. It's going to be a full tour, just like we did with the last one. Big thanks to the GF group as well for allowing us to do it. Thanks to Laura, who's on the camera uh, at the moment. She's going to be doing a little bit of the filming today. And uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe. Hit the thumbs up as well. We're going to crack on with the tour. We've got to get the drone up and everything yet. And hopefully, it might be somewhere that you're interested in staying in. Complete, as I said, completely different to the one up the road. Very different style. Uh, and I have been up on the rooftop before. We did it on the channel uh, again a week or so ago. Live. Amazing up there. So come on in. Let's uh, go for an explore and uh, stride on. So just going to start the tour off here in reception, which is very grand as you walk in. You have got the piano there, a lovely bar here for coffees. Uh, they've got little croissants and things, cocktails and things in there. And then you have got an outer area that you can sit at. These look like, I think they're lemon trees here with a lovely sculpture water area. Obviously you can't go in there, but looks lovely. And I have seen it at night time. It's all lit up very nice. Yeah, I think these are lemon or lime trees nice to have around to give off a nice smell and then you've got a nice bar if you want to sit here there's a there was a saxophone player on here the other night when we were here and you'd have a pianist as well so you can sit and chill in here lovely bar area some nice drinks here some uh, nice brandies and things looks very nice fancy a coffee you've got little croissants and things here as well so the reception as it greets you is very nice very grand a nice glass lift that goes up to the upper floor there and then a lot of it you have got all the palm trees and greenery in here very very modern very modern especially with these curves here everything's quite curved and modern style in contrast to the gf grand more traditional this one is more your modern style especially with all these greenery walls and all the plants around but it is um a very grand entrance, very nice. You, uh, you do feel like you've walked in somewhere very grand when you step in. So even when you check in, you're not gonna stand at a desk, you're gonna sit down, comfy seats, got a nice bouquet of flowers and you'll be checked in here. Um, very one-to-one -one style, you're not stood queuing at a desk, it is sit down on the comfy chairs, check in one-on-one, -on -one. they'll explain where everything is where how to find your room everything like that you've got a qr code as well to scan for all your hotel info but yes nice one-to-one -one setup that for when you check in now in the reception as well they have got this huge model of the hotel that will just show you the scope and the size of it it is very big so we're just here in the reception we've just come in this way it's where we started the video and then you've got the rooftop pool here and it is massive when you you don't quite realize it spreads all the way around that's a lovely area that <clears throat> in the middle with the greenery up the side and then another two pool areas two big pool areas and then <clears throat> this is like a i think an adults only section here we're going to find out about this you've got a little um sports courts up there on the roof and round the back here, you have got a kids' water park as well. This has got like a, um, 
There it is, it's got the wave machine there if you want a bodyboard or surf. All kinds going on for the kids. Uh, slides, everything, it's massive. Big, big setup. So this just gives you an idea of what we're gonna to be touring, what the layout is like. You can see the sports courts, all of this for the kids. Even this is all dry area for kids, different to the water section. Uh, mini golf here along the side. But you can see just how big it is. And look at these lovely sunbeds up here on the top. Very, very nice. And more sports courts. So you can see just how big it is just from this model. Gives you an idea of just how big it is. I know it's a model, it's tricky to see with the glass, but I just think that's so interesting. It just gives you an idea of what we've got to get around. We've got a lot to film. It is a big, big resort. You've got your little shop here for some souvenirs and things for the kids. And you've also got a little uh, desk here for excursions if you want to book excursions in here. Of course, cash machine if you want to get cash out. And there is a little concierge area down at the front if you want to do anything specific with the hotel. But again, all your amenities are here so far. So this is the main restaurant buffet area that we're going into now. So you've got all your buffets set out here. Very nice tables through the other side to sit on. I think you can sit outside as well, but you've got a lovely buffet spread, everything going on. It is just after lunchtime now, so uh, it is a little bit quieter in here, but you've got everything going on. Fruits, cakes, ooh, those cakes look good. Uh, I'm just gonna <clears throat> show you a little bit of what they've got on while we're in here. And then you have got all your seating area here, outside as well as you can see, through both sides. But they have got lots of nice stuff going on. It looks like the fish section here. I'm gonna take you around quickly, show you what they've got on offer. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see the world in action What we can be like with no distractions We'll get away, this is what we waited for So they have got a few of these special TVs around that are all touch screen as well that show you what's going on uh, in the day. You've got to touch that bit. There you go. So they're all interactive touch screens so you can see what's going on in the mini club, the fitness, the wave pool, all these different things. There you go. Yeah, very good. I like that. So you'll see these dotted around where you can touch them. So just here you've got the baby club so this is the little club for the for the babies the really younger kids they do have this big soft play section where you could probably drop the kids off if you want to go out for the afternoon or something they've got everything going on in there and um, for babies to quite young but uh, it's a nice section that i've not seen that for so young in a hotel before i've not got kids myself but i imagine if you want a bit of an afternoon to yourselves or keep the kids entertained there's quite a lot going on there for the younger ones which is nice a little bit of a uh, model out here as well okay so we are in one of the harmony suites now which is absolutely stunning wait till you see this guys it is absolutely stunning in here uh, this is one of the little bathrooms you've got your walk-in shower and everything here, no step, you can walk straight in, a bit like a wet room style. Stunning in there, again, phone in the toilet if you need anything. And then spinning background, there's Laura and me, hello. Um, this here, hidden away, you have got a full mini kitchen. So you've got your kettle, fridge, light comes on as you open the door, little microwave there. So if you did uh, wanna make anything, you have got a little bit of a mini kitchen here, which is nice. 
Then you come through to like a little bit of a living area with your sofa, lovely modern lamp, I like that. Even the ceiling's got those modern cut light styles. Lovely big flat screen TV built in with the mirror. Sorry about the shirt, everyone. Um, little pack here as well, set up with flip-flops, towels, all GF themed, I like that. Then you can step out here. Laura's gonna help me open the doors somehow. Laura's already opened it. And then I can pull through and you've got stunning views out here of the whole section right out to the sea you got the rest of the hotel area you can see they've got nice gardens just to sunbathe if you don't want to go around the pool areas again you can see all the solar panels on the roof from up here and that's the the little sky bar just over there lovely views from up here though lovely and the actual balcony yourself you've got these lovely padded beds they look dead comfy them and your chairs padded and i imagine at night sat on maybe this bean bag or there yeah. little drink view out this will all be lit up spectacular and i love the way it spreads right through i'm going to spread right through into that <laughs> look at that guys a hot tub private hot tub your own on the patio little steps going up i'm not going to get you know as tempted as i am and look at the views you've got from it as well Protected with the glass, you can't do anything silly, but stunning that is, stunning. It's a level above, level above. But I'm just looking at all the balconies and all the balconies are screaming luxury as well. Yeah, every single balcony. This is obviously your top standard room, but even the standard ones have got the luxury padded beds, the luxury, the, all these padded um, soft beds with the chairs and things like this, all the same. Yeah, so this is a massive patio area, balcony. So we're going to go back through now, through this way, through this living area. I'm trying not to touch everything. This is clean and ready. Little um, side note here, you'll notice these. I'm desperate for these in my own house. These are the little um, USB socket chargers. So if you've got a USB, just plug straight in. You don't need to bring adapters. You can just plug straight into them. Love those as a feature. And then we're gonna go through into the stunning bedroom. Look at that. G gorgeous big bathtub in the bedroom. Stunning big double bed. It's it's spectacular in here. It is spectacular. Huge bed, huge. But that, I mean, look at that. As a, you have got a shower as well if you're not into the bath, but that is gorgeous, that is gorgeous. All your little amenities you've got ready to go. All your soaps, shampoos and everything. His and hairs sinks. I just love it all. Even the chrome finishes on the, the flushes. Little bidet. It is. Again. Magnifying mirror there. Slippers. 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 So you've got everything. Absolutely everything. But and the design is a huge room. Everything's finished to a really high standard. Yeah, the even with the... The little chargers and things on the side. Again, USB sockets. I love that. No need for all these adapters and things. Pfft, look at that for a view, though. Look at that. Just have a little stunning. And then, again, your balcony just leads all connected. This is where we've just been, obviously, with the hot tub. All connected. One big balcony. So you've got a hot tub, and then there's your bedroom. It is absolutely stunning.
So we've just come out now to the water park and the sports area. You've got people playing tennis here. Glorious sunshine, glorious views all around with the mountains behind. I mean, what do you think of that room, guys? It was spectacular. Drop your comments about that room. It was stunning, stunning right up my street. I love all that modern style stuff. Look at this for kids play area. It's massive. It looked tiny on the little model down in reception. That is a massive uh, like a climbing area, activity centre. I can hear the wave machine going now. These are having a nice game of tennis. Maybe even a coaching session. Looks like a member of staff there, maybe giving them a, a session or maybe she just referees or things. It is, um, I've got to say so far, this is a level above everything I've ever seen hotel wise. Definitely lovely outdoor little bar here. You can have your drinks and smoothies and slushies. And then here you've got the wave machine, which looks so fun. This guy just bodyboarding. It looks so fun, that does. So just behind that wave machine, obviously there is the tennis court again from the other side. And coming through here, you've got a, yeah, a full outdoor little football five-a-side pitch. People having a little game of football up here. Very hot, but kids are loving it. it is, and it's all netted in, so you know the ball can't get out. It's, uh, it is level above, I think. It is uh, spectacular up here. So just to mention, this is a small additional cost, the wave machine. It's 10 um, euros for seven minutes, which is quite a while for a tenner. You've got to bear in mind, it's pumping a lot of water. So it probably takes, takes quite a bit to run it. Uh, but I think it's worth it. I think that's probably cheaper than on the cruises. If anyone knows uh, what uh, Royal Caribbean charge, uh, drop your comments, but probably, probably more than 10 euros for seven minutes. But I think that's pretty fair, especially for the rest of it, which is pretty much all included from what I understand. Um, stunning area it's got everything everything you can think of they've got it even the outside toilets are like all themed and little thatched roof it's stunning area so just down here from that uh, big climbing area you have got the mini golf just down here which i did show on the model got a nice astroturf little mini golf going on which is nice in the sun, plenty of sun cream on. And then nice gardens, you've got banana trees just down there as well that you could go and have a look at, everything. I like that, bit of nature. And then the, the backdrop with the mountains as well. Just like in the Grand that we did further up, the other hotel, there is the nudist area. Uh, we're gonna see if anyone's in there, see if I can quickly show you the view from there. We will see, but they do have that area if that's something you're interested in. You can have a full experience, but the view as well, stunning from up here. The whole of Las Americas 
a dacky. I'm just going to walk to the end of this rooftop area. I'm sorry if I'm a bit out of breath. We uh, just ran up the stairs there. These are like a little area for um, the spa. You can book a separate section of the spa and have these outdoor areas to yourself, which are on the top floor. And I'm just going to show you, this is just a public area, public view. Look at this for a view from up here. Wow. Look at that lovely, that's like a lovely zen garden there. Love those trees all cut in that shape. Stunning garden area. And you've got views all the way around. Del Duque Plaza shopping centre down there. Here's all the... Uh, Solar panels, I did get in trouble, well, I didn't get in trouble, a lot of you said in the comments they're not solar panels, they're water heaters. And I think you are correct, because you can see the water lines running into them. So these will heat like the pool, it will heat maybe your shower water. These are water heaters rather than solar panels. But obviously it does save a lot of energy heating the water this way with the sun, than it would obviously with boilers and things like that, using up energy. And you can see from here, this is the other hotel that I keep referring to. This is the GF Gran that we toured a couple of weeks ago. Again, part of the same hotel chain. That video will be in the description. We're in their sister hotel right next door here in Victoria today. And you can just admire the views. You've got Lagomera over there. Views for days, as they say. You can see all the jet skis. Views for days. So this is the natural area. So this is where you can sunbathe fully if you want to. This is exclusive area. Oh, we're only filming obviously because no one is up here. If someone was here, obviously we couldn't get in, but this is a full um, nudist or naturalist area. If that's what you're into. You've got a little hot tub built in. Again, all these views. This is the two different pool areas down here. And you've got your sun lounges, a pool, private little beds. So yeah, if that is your style, you have got an exclusive private area up here. And from what she says, it is quite very popular. Um, and you can see just along here, these are the, the little spa sections I mentioned. And um, just as we walked along here, you could see the other side of them. They are the little private spa sections that you can book. And as you can see, everything is uh, shaded in so it's not like anyone can see you from any of these balconies everything is very private so this here is the zen garden which we've seen just from the level above remember i was admiring these trees and they can set up weddings here they can set up yoga um, private different sessions. You can see they've got a thing here, probably for the yoga or maybe a bit of dancing and things up here. Maybe as a stage for the wedding. It's just a lovely relaxation area with all these Zen style trees. Got a nice breeze up here as well. And they've literally thought of everything for this hotel, I think. They've thought of everything. And this is just, at, this is the top of that green section on the side of the hotel that you'll have seen on the drone footage. You've seen it on the model as well down at reception. You'd have seen this big green planted wall. And these are actually all real plants and trees and bushes and things like that. So great for the environment. They are all real. Some people think they're fake, but this little Zen garden's lovely. I love these trees. If I had a garden, I'd have them like this. Got to keep them all pruned and shape them and things, but lovely area.
Now here's another something very interesting. These here, they're not canopies for shade. They are designed to collect condensation. And then you'll see the water lines, the pipelines, when the condensation collects, the water comes down and this waters all of these plants and little bushes and things. I think that's amazing. So these would collect all your condensation with the heat when it goes cold. It'll go down the lines and it'll go into all this water line here to water and keep all these plants going. Amazing. If you just look at it, you just think it's a bit of a sunshade canopy. Much more clever than that. Much more clever. Quickly to mention, this is the two main pool areas. It's very, very busy. I'm going to respect people's privacy and not film very much around these pools. You can see how many people are in. Uh, but yeah, you can have the inflatables. There is an inflatables party going on in the pool. There's a bit of an inflatable slide for the kids. All the lovely planted area around as well. You've got your, your bar at the back for your snacks and drinks. Two different pools, little sun canopies. But there is a lot of people here. I'm going to respect it. People are in bikinis and things and children. So I'm going to, not going to go round here, but you've seen it. You'll have seen it from the footage as well. It's a lovely area on two different levels as well. So you've got everything there. is a big conference and showroom they do have a show here next week so it is going to be set up it's not quite set up yet but you can see you'd have a lovely show in here with the stage you can have conferences in here meetings and uh, you can see they've had a meeting here with the screen and then you've got your control room here with all your computers for the lights the sounds and i love the ceiling they can um, they can play with the intensity of the lights and the colors and things but as a stage here they have got a um a show going on next week we might try and come back to so this will all be set up but lovely huge room you wouldn't know it was here it's uh wow down in the kids area now which is very large you've got an arcade here with a rally system you've got an f1 car that you can go into uh, motorbike racing it's a big big section a little tennis club in there is that yeah So this is the mini club here. You've got all kinds going on in here in the mini club for the kids. Ooh, Connect, connect Four, I've not done that for years. It's uh, plenty going on for the kids. We now are in the Sky Bar. We did a little live from here uh, last week. You can see you've got gorgeous views again from up here and you can chill have a drink they do amazing cocktails in here in some amazing glasses i've never seen cocktail presentation like it before you've got the lovely infinity pool over the edge there uh, it might get laura to do a little quick dip in there maybe she's got her bikini if she wants to have a quick dip and a look down but it's lovely up here you can actually come in here if you're not a guest you just have to make a reservation uh, respect all the rules when you come in make sure you wear your mask through the reception and everything and you can come up here and enjoy some cocktails and they do also do a day pass where you can come up here uh, it's 50 euros spend behind the bar but you obviously you get that back in cocktails or food or something like that so it's a minimum spend of 50 euros uh, per person but you can spend the day up here have some cocktails have a bite to eat enjoy the pool sunbathe with these little beds it's very nice up here i will be bringing my mum and dad up here as well um but have an evening as well sunset and all of this all of the south decky las americas lights up and it is beautiful up here i'm just going to chill up here now in the sky bar as they call it uh, just a fizzy water got to refresh it's a little bit of a kalima out today really hot but stunning hotel really nice yeah beautiful yeah yeah completely different vibe to the gf gram completely different style so it's difficult to compare them both you can't compare them you can't really compare because the two completely different styles but this is stunning if you love modern style particularly i do i love all the modern stuff um you know the modern curvature just all the design is all modern style love it really nice 
and up here as well of an evening as I've mentioned and um, what I'll do I'll link in the description again the live that we did up here uh, of an evening time you'll see some of those cocktails as well which you won't get a better cocktail presentation in Tenerife I've never seen anything like it and um, the glasses they have and things but I will link that in the description so you can check it out of an evening time just what it's like up here with all the lights going on and I imagine up here for New Year's Eve would be amazing. You'd get fireworks all over, it would be phenomenal here for New Year's. But for now, I'm going to enjoy some of this fizzy water. It is hot today and we've walked way more than you think around this hotel, so uh, we will catch you in a moment. the view like it's over cool, the edge yeah, yeah. Nice. there you go I want one drink doing it. Oh, Laura has got the GoPro in there so she will take you down show you that well not take you down but she'll show the camera down to the view that they've got over the edge it does go right over the edge there right the way down so Laura's gonna show that So that concludes our full tour of the GF Victoria. Absolutely stunning, really must say. The room was amazing. It is immaculate in here. Uh, they've got everything for the kids you can think of, everything for the adults you can think of. Uh, this isn't an all-inclusive, make no mistake. Um, there is no all-inclusive here. Everything is an extra, but amazing. Amazing, that's all I can say. Very different vibe to the GF Grand. I wouldn't recommend one over the other. Completely different styles of hotel, different theming, everything like that. This is a lot more modern style that is more traditional. Both beautiful, both different vibes, both excellent for families and kids, and both excellent if you're just a couple, if you want to do more adult themed things. Uh, like the sky bar there is completely adults only. You've got both, they've got those nudity areas which are adults only. Um, I know a lot of you probably laugh at that, but there's probably more people interested in that than you'd think. Uh, actually, um, the nudity area out here isn't adults only. Ah, okay, so the nudity, nudity area is actually uh, for everyone. Obviously, anyone. not many people are going to no. bring the kids up, but it is for no. everyone. Uh, but no, it's a stunning hotel. Big thank you to um, GF Group for inviting us out, having us out, showing us around. Absolutely fantastic. We'd love to do more hotels. Uh, maybe the Isabel further up the road would be great if we can. Uh, we might be coming back as well next week to watch a show, maybe. We'll see. They are starting a show again. They do dinner and a show in here. Um, so we'll let you know about that. Make sure you do subscribe. Please do hit the thumbs up. Drop in your comments again as well. If we want more of these hotel reviews, we've got to really boost the videos. We've got to let the GF group know just how much you enjoyed the video as well. So get your comments below. Boost the video. Share it around as well. And that is going to be it from us. Yeah. We're going to stood next to it. Look at that. We've even got a lovely lemon tree right next to us. So yeah, every 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 plant, every flower, every bush you see here is real. Even yeah. down to the bathrooms and the bathrooms yeah. by the pools. And even that every detail field. with that that special system they've got to c collect the condensation to water the Zen Garden. Amazing, amazing. You don't realise when you look at it, it looks amazing. You you don't quite realise the detail that goes into it all yeah. and the systems they've got and brilliant absolutely brilliant i hope you did enjoy it uh, stride on drop those comments and uh, hopefully we'll be doing another hotel soon who knows gotta get asking <laughs> bye guys stride on